Hey, it's Shane Point to the Word. Uh, this will be uh, New Age Part 5 uh, testimony. Uh, last time we were talking about, like, psychics and stuff. Uh, just how I basically, um, like, my mom went to one, and, like, one thing came to pass, one didn't. Um, and, yeah, I, I ultimately believe that, you know, it's basically one of three scenarios. Like, you know, I feel like, you know, a psychic, you know, so-called could you know, really think they're doing good and, you know, really be deceived into, you know, thinking that, hey, you know, whatever I'm in contact with has really helped me out. Uh, two, um, they just, you know, don't know at all, you know, what's happening. Or three, and I think, you know, it's probably the most rare, but I, I don't really know. Um, it's just my personal belief um, that the psychic, you know, really does know that, you know, these are like evil spirits and stuff. So, yeah, that's, I don't know, like... I, I I wasn't there for when my mom you know, went to that psychic and all that, so um yeah, I just wanted to include that. So um like a lot of, you know, there's so much in the new age now, like there's so many influences, like I was listening a lot to like Oprah Winfrey lately and I've never you know, listened to her before. Like there's always, you know, some that you know, grandmas watch, I mean, like, on their, you know, couch, you know what I mean, like, on TV, and I, I ne like, I've heard, you know what I mean, obviously heard of her and whatever, but I don't think I've ever actually, you know, sat down and watched her show, but, um, lately, um, I've been, uh, like, watching a lot of her, uh, material, and she, like, the people she's surrounded with is just insane, like, so new age, and uh, a whole bunch of like, spiritual teachers, like, she always, you know, interviews them, like, an Eckhart Tolle kind of, uh, person, so, yeah, uh, she's incredibly new age, uh, she considers herself a Christian and kind of, like, fuses new age with Christianity, you know, says, oh, you know, I'm, you know, basically looking to, uh, you know, be, become enlightened, and, you know what I mean, so, like, I'm a Christian, but, you know, I also want more kind of thing, so, and that's kind of why I wanted to, you know, touch on today, because it seems like, um, a lot of this, you know, comes from Genesis 3, like, um, and the reason I say that is because, you know, it, it talks about the tree of life, and, you know, uh, you know, good and evil, and, you know, Satan, you know, deceives Eve, and, uh, for, you know, knowledge and, you know, information, uh, and basically what I, I feel like, you know, is happening now in the world is that, you know, Satan is delivering us, you know, he's, he's helping us because, you know, God is withholding all this information from us. And, you know, that, that, like, I've never seen this show before, but if you guys are familiar with, like, you know, on Netflix, there's a show, you know, called Lucifer out there, you, you know what I mean? So... And, like, I, I've only seen, like, trailers of it, but, like, from what I see, like, you know, and don't, don't quote me, but, you know, from the very little that I've observed and seen from that, you know, it, it actually seems right, because, um, like, at least the one thing depicted um, in the Bible, you know, talks about, you know, Satan is, a, you know, he deceives us, and he, you know, is like, you know, transforms himself into an angel of light. So, you know what I mean? You look at that show, Lucifer, you know, he's not in, he doesn't have horns or a tail or a pitchfork or, you know what I mean? Like what people usually say, you know, and think of Satan as, you know what I mean? Like he comes as an angel of light, like, and new age, <laughs> you know, light and love, you know what I mean? So it's very, I don't know, like, I, 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 God, you know, God's giving me discernment, and I, I kind of see those things now, and I, like, I wouldn't watch the show, um, like, I, I assume, you know, I mean, there's probably a lot of, you know, bad language, and, you know, nudity, or, you know, you know, very, you know, intimate scenes, I, I don't know that for sure, but I, that's just an assumption, you know, because I, I used to watch a whole bunch of movies back in the day, I, I, I really don't now. But yeah, I just wanted to read, like, you know, a part of Genesis 3. And it says, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? 
And the woman said to the serpent, Well, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. And, and the serpent said unto the woman, and this is like where, um, you know, I'm trying to get the point across, like starting now. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. And right here, for God uh, does know that in the day you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And so, like, that verse, in a nutshell, like, to me, just wraps up New Age. Because, you know what I mean? Like, you know, you become enlightened, you, you know, you ascend and become your own god slash goddess, if you want. And, yeah, to me, that's, in a nutshell... Genesis 3, verse 5, well, you know, chapter 3, verse 5, like, totally wraps up New Age to me. And also, you know, 2 Corinthians 11, uh, 14, you know, that Satan is transformed into an angel of light. So, um, so yeah, I, I just want to, you know, mention that stuff. Also, like, my sister, I mentioned her, like, she's totally into the New Age, and, like, Oprah is, you know, basically trying to use these things together you know well i'm a christian but i also you know i have these crystals and i have you know what i mean like i do all these things and um you know horoscopes and all this stuff so i, I it saddens me and if you i mean and we we really need to pray for these people too like i'm not just i don't want to go on you know rampage and say you know this person's bad that person's bad you know what i mean like there's more to the story and you know god has given us prayer you know and and you know it says in like second peter um i think chapter three verse nine like you know like it's it, it, the will of god that all would come to repentance you know and so and that you know all would be saved and you know what i mean like a lot of people and myself included, you know, back then, like, we all have this view of the Bible because we hear things and we don't investigate, you know what I mean? So, you know, we hear these things, you know, like John three sixteen, for instance, and then, you know, we see Christians or churches and, are, and we're like, yeah, whatever, hypocrite, you know what I mean? So, but no, it's, it's literally Second Peter, I think it's chapter 3, verse 9, um, you know, God wants us to come to repentance and be saved and you know to have that godly sorrow um you know to know what we've done you know and know that's wrong because you gotta know you know it's two steps you know what i mean you got you know jesus saves yes but what does he save from like why do we need to be saved so you know what i mean so we need to have the problem before the solution so the problem is you know we've sinned we need repentance to have that godly sorrow and, you know, and you know, hand in hand turn with that, you know, turn from it with God's help. Um, and that's important, too, to know that God gives you that strength to do that. You know, it's not like, oh, now I know I'm wrong and now I need to, you know, work and work and work in my own strength to do this. And no, you absolutely need God for that. Um, and then, you know, the solution, you know, Jesus Christ. And God sent Jesus, you know, to this earth, you know, and that's the gospel. You know, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, and that he was buried and rose again the third day. And that's 1 Corinthians chapter 14, or uh, 15, rather, uh, verses 3 to 4. Um, but yeah, carry on, like, um, I remember there's this place, uh, so I'm in Wisconsin, uh, in the United States, and there's this place called uh, Angels Forever. It's basically, you know what I mean? You know, Buddha statues, you know, stones, crystals, whatever. Uh, like, I, I would go to that store with my sister, and, um, <clears throat> like, I was they were really into, like, dragons back then. I never got any, like, you know, statues or anything, because, like, I was really poor, and, <laughs> like, that stuff was really expensive there. But I remember um, my first girlfriend actually, like, bought her a promise ring there from that store, and I don't know, like... I, I I think back and I thank God for all the things that he's gotten me out of because like, I don't know, just like doing, doing these YouTube videos, like it's good for me to look back. Like, cause like, you know what I mean? I, I knew that I was, you know, getting into new age, but I guess I didn't really understand how deep until I started, you know, going through, you know, processing these stories and stuff. So, 
you know, and, and that's been helpful for me to be even more grateful to God and, you know, give him Thanksgiving. Um, so yeah, I, I bought my, my first girlfriend a promise ring, obviously it didn't work out. Um, so I, you know, broken promise, um, add to all my sins and you know, shortcomings in my whole life. Um, just one more to add. Um, but yeah, so like, I don't know, like back to like, you know, my sister, like, you know, please pray for her. Like, you know, these people, you know, are deceived as was I, and, you know, please pray that, you know, for my sister, uh, you know, Oprah Winfrey, uh, Eckhart Tolle, I, I, I believe he's still alive. I don't, I, I'm not sure. And, you know, anyone who's in your family, you know, you got, please pray for your family, your friends, anyone who, you know, you see that's in this stuff. Like it's very prideful. Like, I, that, that's what it all amounts to. Like you want to become your own God. You want to ascend, you want to become enlightened self, 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 you know, like me, me, me. And so please just, you know, pray for these people. It's like they need our prayers desperately. Um, yeah, I'll wrap it up there. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.